And I'm collecting the calcium chloride bottles, not the zinc nitrate ones, okay? Yes, yes. Where is it? Mystery. This is a mystery. Is everything okay? No, not okay. One of the bottles is missing a label. I need to figure out if this contains zinc nitrate or calcium chloride. Hmm. Adam, Amy, I have an idea. Let's figure out this mystery together. A mystery? Are we going to conduct an experiment? Yes. Let's put our investigative spirit to work. Yay! We will conduct some experiments to determine the identity of this colourless solution. Yay! I love doing experiments! Alright. Let's start with determining the cation of the unknown solution. Do you remember how to test for cations? Alkalis! Alkalis! We can start with dilute sodium hydroxide. Wow, not bad! <laughs> okay, Amy, let's go with that. Now, pour about 2 cubic cm of the unknown into a test tube. And then, Pour dilute sodium hydroxide into the test tube, drop by drop. What do you observe? I see white precipitate forming. Okay, but white precipitate at this point could mean a couple of different cations, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it could mean zinc, lead to or calcium cations. Very good, Adam. Amy, continue to add sodium hydroxide and shake the test tube as you do. I see the white precipitate dissolving as more sodium hydroxide is added. I get a colourless solution now. This tells us it's either zinc or lead to cations. Since we already know that the unknown can only be calcium chloride or zinc nitrate, we can confirm that the cation present in this solution is ZN2+. Yeah! So, have we solved the mystery? Yes! Well done, guys! <laughs> now, since we know that the unknown bottle contains zinc cation, we can also conclude that the bottle without a label contains zinc nitrate. What's that? Can we confirm the anions too? Just to be sure. Of course. I like that attitude. So, how would you confirm the presence of nitrate? We should add dilute sodium hydroxide and aluminium foil. Oh yes, then we warm the mixture to test for ammonia gas. Oh, oh wow, not bad guys. <laughs> Amy, you do this test. That pungent water next smell. We should test it with moist red lemon's paper. There you go. The red litmus paper has turned blue. This confirms that ammonia was evolved and that nitrate ions were present in the solution. This confirms the identity of the solution in the bottle. And it is indeed zinc nitrate. Mr. Art, 
For the calcium chloride solution, can I carry out the anion test for chloride? Of course you can. Do you know the test? I do, I do. Acidify the solution with nitric acid, then add a few drops of silver nitrate. Mm. White precipitate forms. This confirms the presence of chloride ions. Excellent work, guys. Thanks for helping me with all the colourless solutions today, guys. And to reward you for your hard work... A perfect end to our day! Thank you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Art. Art! Bye, guys! Till our next Chem Mystery! <laughs>